thank you for making a space where white people in particular could ask questions. Mm -hmm. Like, just thank you. I was one of those people that before I met Monique, I never heard of the Tulsa massacre. I didn't know anything about the bombing of the church in Birmingham. Um, I didn't even know about that until we went to visit there yeah. uh, last year. I had never heard of it. While Monique was extremely fluent in in African- All things black. Yeah, black yes. history. There was a lot of gaps in, in her knowledge of things that I knew a lot about in our history. Mm -hmm. And so there's been definitely some teaching of each other. Yeah, I was going to say about history, you know, it's, I think many Black people are taught one side of Black history. People like Thomas Sowell and Walter Williams that are never Black history, but we aren't taught that. Yep. And I mean, how amazing, how prolific, how, you know, smart are these these people who are Carol Swain, a part of Black history that we aren't told about. So I knew every injustice basically that had ever happened to, to Black people. I knew, you know, looking at um, like the Harlem Renaissance period and, you know, all of these different um, musicians and artists that came out of that and things like that, writers, I could I can quote you volumes from Langston Hughes, one of my most favorite authors, and yet I could not tell you one person who had a different vein of thought who was black. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I, I do I think that the history is is very needed. I also think that it's important for you know everyone to understand all of America's history. America has some really cool history, you know, in her past. And it's okay to acknowledge that. And she has yes. some crap. Like, yes. this, this was some crap. This is some mess. And we need to be able to acknowledge that as well. That's the biblical approach. We see Israel as a prize and we see her as a prostitute. Mm -hmm. That is, if we're going to be Christian about it and we're going to uphold a historic Christian narrative, well, we have to be able to look at the reality, all of it, not mm -hmm. just the parts that, you know, make me feel good and tingly on the inside. This is the way I like to frame it. World War II, right? Probably one of the greatest achievements in, in human history. Like that was very decisive in the swing of human history. And America itself was on the right side of it. People died for um, the sake of the freedom of others, right? Um, we fought a war against real evil and won it. Well, that's true. And that is to be celebrated and praised. But at the same time, that's the 1940s. What happened when black soldiers came home? Like how would it, like, so it's two sides to America. It's like this greatness that is really truly there. Yeah. But then there's this other side is like, you're failing to live up to your values, right? And I think, that kind of situation really frames the complexity of what America is or America um, used to be in its history and its founding, right? It's very complex. It's not simply the 1619 Project or it's not simply all red, white, and blue patriotism, Yes. right? It is a mix of both of those. I'm going to say both because 1619 Project is you know, kind of historically inaccurate. Um, but that sense of a wrong being done and injustice being done alongside the fact of America is like a modern day marvel from a nation standpoint, this is something that has never existed in human history. Mm -hmm. uh, Self-governance people, people from all, I, I, like, I know we like to break things down to black and white, but all those white people came over were not one single group of people. They were multiple different ethnicities and groups and classes. And, and so when you understand like the real melting pot that America was and still is, it is a miracle in its existence. But it's also the reason we have some very, very unique issues here that, that isn't common to other nations that are usually like homogeneous, right? Um, and so uh, I, think, I think we have to acknowledge both sides of that history to understand the complexity of it instead of gravitating to one side of it. Yeah. I, I think that that's really important, especially um, 
when we're when we're talking about history because so much emphasis is always put on history well if you knew the history then you would be you know outraged too and they a lot of people can make it seem like america is so unique in her racism like it's our original sin there's no other country on the planet that is as racist as america that has the issues that america has had and in reality the the dynamics that you're talking about within our nation of being this you know post like coming home from world war ii you know there's this red white and blue some soldiers are really celebrated and things like that but then you have another group of soldiers coming home from the same war who weren't celebrated who didn't get the honorable mission mentions and you know the celebrations and you know all of that hoopla and things like that and is that not the condition actually of us as individuals, the the greatness that we can possess and be, and yet the horrible, sinful mess that we can also be. And that is part of every condition in every country on the planet. And so I don't know, there's something about like the way that you're you're talking that it makes it reminds me that yes, we do have unique issues here in America. And yet our issues are not so unique that it separates us from the the grander scheme of history and the grander scheme of humanity. Mm